Hi everybody and welcome to Sonic Studios. I'm Laura, I've got Karen with me today and Alex and today we're looking at the Hello Friend frame. Hi everybody, I'm Laura. I've got Karen with me. Hello. Hello, are you okay? I'm fine. I'm Very mysterious fine. today. I am not. I'm so good. I'm I'm on point today, Alex. I'd like you to know. Mm. <laughs> and you can hear how amused Alex is with that. Alex is showing the camera as well. Yeah, hello, everyone. It's a good job it's not a camera on me because you're like, you, oh, maybe you can hear. You know, maybe do you know you should, with that uh, camera, when it's not rolling, that's yeah. what we should do is have it on you. The background's too, I haven't got, because it's all padded walls and, <laughs> it's fine. which is very it's fitting style. which is fitting they just want to see uh, you it's fine <laughs> they don't care about the background uh. <laughs> so today we're looking at the new designers uh choice die set now this is the hello friend frame it's are we going to show oh Shall before I? we show should we do our interview first <gasps> what are we gonna do so we've got an interview with the designer Keris showing us the inspiration behind the die. Hi, I'm Keris. I'm one of the designers here at Tonic, and um, I designed this month's designer's choice, which is called Hello Friend Edges. Um, well, the set has lots of different elements in it. Um, so we've got things like um, decorative strips, decorative edges that can also be um, interchanged with each other. Um, these are quite sw swirly floral designs. Um, and there's also a selection of um, sentiments as well in different kind of styles. So there's something kind of for everyone there. Um, so they're designed to work well together as well. So they complement each other really well. Well, I kind of thought of doing some decorative strips at first, and then I kind of thought that that could work well with edges as well. So then I kind of expanded that with doing some more edges that can kind of be interchanged with each other. Um, and then I thought to add some sentiments with the set as well, because it would be a good addition to the edges because you don't often see vertical um, sentiments so I thought that would work well together. I think well the edges and strips will definitely work well best with cards. Um, I think you can also use some of the sentiments with boxes as well if you wanted to because you can cut out some of the sentiments and arrange them however you want so you can put them on any other projects really. I think it definitely appeals to um, newer crafters um, because it's a nice simple set um, there's a lot of different elements that you can pick and choose what you want to use um, but I think it also appeals to more advanced crafters as well so you can make elaborate things with it by using different things for different uses. Um, I also think it can appeal to crafters with different styles as well. So you can use the decorative um, decorative dies if you want something more fancy and floral, or you can use the simple sentiments and simple edges if you wanted something a bit more basic. Okay, so thank you to Karis for showing us what inspired her to make the die. Shall we it's a look? lovely, lovely die set. There's a lot of elements in here. So as you can see, you get your designer choice envelope with your nice do not bend. Do not bend. And it's really nice. It's a nice hard card. So And you can use that as well. I was going to say, you could use that as a lovely backing, isn't it? This is the back of it, definitely. So there's your envelope. Comes in your sleeve to fit straight into your storage binder, yes. the A5 binder that you saw oh. earlier. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so just pop these dies out and have a little look at them. So you have got these edges here. You can see they're cut off there. They, if you, you can duplicate them because they've got a little notch in the top and bottom in each edge of this die here. Uh, if you die cut it once, flip it over, die cut it again. So you're, you're matching up these notches then. Right. And you die cut, just tape it down really well so these edges don't splay don't because yeah. they're, they're open. So if you, you 
die cut it, flip it over, die cut it again. You can either make a round mat to yes. make your frame. Uh, not round, an oval mat <laughs> to make your frame. See, it's those words, isn't it? This is so difficult, so difficult to do. Um, or you can use it as the aperture as well. Right. So that's the basis of it. So you've got the plain edged oval here and you've got the scalloped side here, which is lovely. But you've also got this uh, die here will cut into your cardstock. But you've got a separate edge either side of it. So you can make it cut the edge of a card. Yeah, I like that. You can have a flat edge on one side, a shaped edge on the other. It just adds more There's versatility. There's so it? much to yeah. do with it. It's very, very, very good. So you've got your hello. So you've either got your separate letters that cut out here. You can see there's a bit of metal joining them, but it's just for placement. So you know where they go inside this outer edge. I like that the wording on the hello and the friend are going down. You don't see that a lot, do you? No, 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 you don't. But what you've also got with this, if you cut this die, this the letter, the actual letters, into the outer edge and then back it with another outer edge, you've got the letters in there anyway. Yeah. Can you see what I mean? Yeah. So you've got the this this creates little letter shaped apertures. Yes. And then you put another one on the back. So you haven't got to place those letters. Yes. You can just use... And it's nice that you've got those letters then from your way. So if you do want it you a different want to put, way, yeah, you exactly. can do that. You can put them across. Yeah. You can put them whichever way. You just piece the two pieces of the all together. Because obviously, because it's staying in your cardstock, it's a yeah, stencil you font. To, yeah. So you'd, you'd lose the center of the all if you didn't have it in two yeah. pieces. Um, you've got other sentiments as well. You've got friend here. Now, if you did want to use these, again, you've got your D in two pieces, so you've still got the hole in the center of it there. Same with the R. But you do the same again with that. So you cut it in, you mat another one onto the back of it, yeah. another one of these layers onto the back of it, so you've got that uh, wording into your cardstock. But if you wanted to cut it out, you can do. Mm -hmm. But we've also got a separate S. I know, in case I you need say, it for friends. That's so okay, So you can't pop it on with the with the border, no, obviously. But, but if you're cutting into your card, then use if it. You, then. Yeah, if you're yeah, if you cut in, if you're cutting out, if you're cutting these out to layer onto your cardstock, you can add an S and it'll be friends. I love that. That little um like little swirly swirly beautiful, isn't it? Look at it that. Is Let me so just nice. pop it on the dark. <gasps> that is really, really pretty. A little flourish. We've also got lovely, lovely friend. Lovely friend. Special, he special he friend. Hello, lovely. Hello, lovely. Hello, lovely. <laughs> <laughs> and this one is, do you know what? This is one I cannot read back to print. What are we doing? Best. They got that quicker than me. Friend. And you'll be morning. <laughs> Best friend. So you've got outer edges for all of these other wordings as well. So you've got special. I love the font. It's different oh, on them as well. I love different I fonts. I love that. Yeah, I do. So I really like that. These ones, these sort of extra words are all matching and these are matching as well. It's a very, very... Um, it's, it's a dice set that you can do so much with. Yeah. Do you know it, what I mean? It's one of those for me that, like, I've got dice sets that are, like themed and they go away yeah. until I know I need to make a card of that theme whereas this, this is, is just one a that's, staple, yeah, that's just going to stay out that you're going to use over and over again yeah. like the word and you probably use all the time Obviously. like the frames you can just use them with so Definitely. many different things and of course you've got these decorations that you pop inside these frames as well so you've got two options there which leaves the gap in the middle for the friend or the hello to go straight on the centre they are really really nice so so this set is available now. It is nineteen ninety nine in the UK or nineteen ninety nine in the US. You get nineteen dies in total, which is a lot actually, because yeah. when you look at the how they've cut them down as split. well, like, yeah. so you've got more uh, options with it's them. having those outer edges that really really increases the versatility versatility in a die set. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> I almost had my own teeth there for a second. <laughs> <laughs> and don't forget, if you are a kid subscriber, use your code to get 10% off and you can pay in instalments on Clearpay, ShopPay and 
PayPal. And do, do you know actually what I wanted to Alex? What is nineteen ninety nine divided by three? It is three thirty three ten divided by is about six quid. So six pounds. So three six payments are six. Yeah, about six fifty. Six pound fifty for the die. Yeah. I, oh, quick maths. <laughs> Really? <laughs> <laughs> That's Alex's work done for the so, day. <laughs> yeah, it'll be it'll be six six sixty six twice and then six sixty seven once. Yeah, there you go. See, so if you break, if you look at it like that, I just a die like that. I didn't touch a calculator then, did I? You did you not. Know, did your hands, your hands are in the not. air. He was there with his in finger going. <laughs> <laughs> he for took the... his shoes off. <laughs> <laughs> his toes are up. <laughs> 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 uh, I was going to say, for those of you that bought the magazine, you now know I'm not just a pretty face. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's been trying to hide away for so long, but uh, we had him. Yeah, and now they know what you look like, so we can get you to do a craft video now. Yes. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. We love him. We will. Definitely. Right. Let me pop this Let's away. have a look at some prep. Some samples, yes, because they really show how differently you can use they do these um dyes. So, the one I've got here, you can see that they just use that inner dye to cut in. Actually, I think they've, they've cut, they've laid, oh, they've cut it out, they've cut it and out, layered it so like you've got an off shadow, yeah. They've moved, I think they've just moved those apart slightly, they moved yeah. Them slightly. So, you've got that off shadow of that That's orange nice. going through. Then I've got another one here where they've used the panels without the outside frame. Yeah. So use the panels to make... So they've used so the oval you... panels to make a square panel <laughs> card, but it still works. And you can see how they've used the what would be a waste, essentially. It's waste, yeah, it is. From your sentiment to put your friend in there. That's lovely. We've got another... This is a really oh, cute one, isn't it? I like that it? one. A nice shaped base on a card. I'd forgotten about that effect with it, too. And you could make a rocker then, couldn't you? Yeah, you could. <gasps> Lovely. Really, yes, because really you've cute. got the other, and the other curved swirl one. there as well. Oh, you love that flourish. I really do. I really like that. That is lovely. It's super cute. And then I got this one. It's just what you said. She says, hello, lovely. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, that must be from... It must be a Welsh thing. That's from Shabnese. Shabnese isn't Welsh. Wow. Yeah, but she lives here. No. Oh, okay, then we're done. That's me, No. She doesn't. All oh, right, okay. That's another <laughs> nice way of using it as a stopper. Yes. And you can yeah. see how the writing just fits in that. Fr it looks so pretty like that. It just like it up. And it would work with so many just different like things. Put in the same one either side, double aspect it like that. And it's really, really pretty. Really, really, and your nice. lovely flourish on that one as well. Yeah, it's on the bottom as a border. Do you want to take some of these ones? We've got this one here. That's pretty. I adore this one, and it's just had a little bit of colour put inside those flowers there, with the hello just going down. And how adorable is that? It is using and just one of those edges. Look, it's simple, but it's so effective, yeah. isn't it? Like so the dye you, is so detailed. You can see that the rest of the die cut is there. Look. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful card. I love that one. And it looks so easy, but quite quick to make as well. That one does look like it could be quite quick to make, doesn't it? As long as you've got now the Now you've seen right. it and you know what you're doing. Yeah, yeah. It's one of them. You've got to have seen it first. Yeah, otherwise you're there just the looking at it. Yeah. <laughs> That's the thing with some of these dice sets. There's so much you can do with them that you look at them and you think, oh, where am I going to start? Yeah. But if you can see some cards to start you off... Once you start to make something, yeah. then the ideas just flow yeah, one after the start, other after the other. Yeah. And then you'll just forget to do how to <laughs> cook food. And... Oh, yes. Yeah. You we've just lose hours. We've all been there. <laughs> so this one is a lovely one. And you can see they've cut it out. So and then put it back on top of like pink oh, that's card. Really nice. So it almost looks like a step. You could use it as a step. You could use it as a step. I to. think, I think if you want me to bring this one in. There's your stencil. Is that the stenciled image? Yes, it is. Yeah, so that's been used as a stencil. That's pretty. There you go. <laughs> there you go. That yeah, and we've got Hello Friend on this one. Cut the way I was trying to explain. Yes. So it does, if you can see it, it looks so much easier, doesn't it? Yeah. So you cut so it that with that in, and then you pop another one on. behind. That's and then you pretty. haven't got a place you word in. 
Which is always useful. Yes, indeed. So this one, they've been cut down the side. Oh, so this is what we were showing you. If I turn that so you can see. So you put that um, outside edge right there. So that just cuts this side. The rest cuts into your card. So you can make edges of your card. It's beautiful. Like this. And you can see how it's been used then on the inside. Oh, that's lovely, isn't it? So and pretty. And a nice background as well. And you can see, like, the samples are showing. They're so different, like, different yeah. colours, different styles. I mean, look at this one. Completely different again. Oh, yeah, with the three colours layered. layered up. That's nice. So pretty. I love the writing on this. I think it's so nice to have it that way. I just mm -hmm. think it's something nice and different. I love a vertical sentiment. And then we've got this one, which is using... As I would say, it was do. meant to be used. Do you know what I mean? Yes. I think so. You cut it twice. She's even covered the centre, so you don't even need to match them up. It's not even been matched on this one. It's just been cut in the centre. Look, they're not matched at the bottom. And you've got your friend down the middle. Aww. Beautiful. 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 Very, very nice. Oh, best. I didn't see that. Oh, it's got best I didn't see friends. that. Either. Sorry. <laughs> it's got best friends. There we are. That's much better. Oh, oh lovely. I like the colours in that one. I well. like that one as well. It really is pretty. So, really isn't that nice? lovely. So, that is actually all the samples that we've got right now. We have. So, thank you for joining us. Now, don't forget, it is available now if you want to go and grab it. So, it's 19 in the UK or 19 99 in the US and don't forget to use your um, Tony Craft Kit code for your 10% off and they can shop in payments on ClearPay, ShopPay, PayPal. That list is just going to keep getting longer, isn't it? I think so. <laughs> I, think I think so. I think it is. <laughs> Definitely. Don't forget to tag us in your makes. We love seeing we do. what you make because everybody makes something completely different. It's just what I was saying, innit? You start to make something and then the ideas just evolve. Yeah, it really, really does. And then you'll just start bringing in different things and you Mixing just... it with your other die sets. Yeah, and you just get lost the... then, don't you? You do. You do. You definitely you do. do. You do do it. Um, like, subscribe and hit the notification button so you don't miss any other videos and happy crafting!